Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. I just want to do a quick um, video today on the Red uh, Hill Tactical uh, Holsters. I really love these things. They are great. Also, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Boss uh, Hanger Kit uh, from Ben Stoger. So uh, let's just dive right into it. So this is the uh, Red Hill Tactical Holster and uh, they're super rigid. Um, I bought these custom made to order. They take about 30 days to get, uh, so just order them ahead of time. This one comes with a three bolt pattern in there. You can kind of see the three bolts in there that mount it to this type of system. Now you can get it mounted however you want it. Uh, there's, uh, I'm, I'm not kidding you, probably over a hundred or more different ways you can get this uh, holster in not only the color, but the texture, uh, prints on it. Uh, you could probably get your business print on there if you wanted to. Uh, there's almost too many um, options for this type of holster. Uh, so these are my holsters that go on my belt. So we talked about this before. This is my belt. And then this is the holster I have with the hanger for the Nemesis. Now this has, these are two, these holsters have two, uh, two layers to them. You can see the two layers there. Uh, can you see it there? There you go. So two layers. I've got the inside layer here black and the outside layer here red. This one has uh, both inside and outside layers are red on this one. Uh, same with this one here. Now this one is special made. This is gonna fit my Hyperion uh, with a light. So with the Surefire X400 light laser combo, I ordered this holster so that when I have my Hyperion, I have this under my Hyperion, I can slide my Hyperion in here in nine mil and I can do a nighttime shoot if there's a nighttime competition. Um, so this has been designed to fit this uh, light. And it'll ask you what light you want to use on the bottom of your gun and which gun you're using, and then they'll make the holster uh, for you. These are stainless steel knobs. You can get them in brass. You can get them in almost any metal you want or plastic if you want. Uh, they have really nice secure uh, locking uh, nuts on the back and also the rubber bumpers in between that compress to help hold the gun better. Uh, this has a carbon fiber look to it on the red and then this is just the plain red here but again these are all two layers they're two layers thick of uh, heavy duty plastic that really holds the gun beautifully uh, I mean you can see this gun just slips slips right in you can tighten these down to however you want uh, to kind of hold them um, and like I said this gun just slides right out drops right in and you know there's no real play there and i can take any of that play out i want too by just tightening these knobs down so it doesn't scratch the gun um it fits in there beautifully i really can't say enough about these red hill tactical uh holsters i have had other holsters that i've used blade tech and comtac and they've scratched my guns and uh you know i know that's part of putting a gun in a holster but with these, I don't have that problem. These are so beautifully designed uh, that, that I don't have that issue. Now, this is the boss hanger here, uh, this whole system here. So this piece, the two spacers, and then this piece here. Now, you can see on this one, you can angle by loosening up this bottom screw here and this top screw. You can turn, you can cant that however you want to. Uh, you can cant the holster however you want to on the bottom. There's that much mo movement on either side. Also, you can select what height you want it to be. Do you want it to be further up here toward the belt? Do you want it to be all the way down? So mine are mounted pretty much all the way down in the travel. So this is about as far, this is as far down as you can go uh, with the gun on the holster, which is as far as I've seen any holster holder uh, system. This straps onto the belt just like this. Um, and this is for my, uh, Nemesis, uh, Atlas Nemesis gun that I have. And this is for uh, the Titan that I have. So uh, I can just swap these out, swap that one on if I needed to. Uh, and um, they all have the same 
all have the same hanger. So these are heavy duty aluminum. These do not flex, these do not bend. Uh, they mount securely, firmly, and, and easily uh, to, the, to a belt system, to an inch and a half belt system. Um, and these are from Ben Stoger's uh, site. This is called the Boss Hanger Kit. And it has four screws on there that, you know, uh, fix it to your belt. And then that's where you, that's the gap there for your belt. So you can stick your uh, belt on there. And, uh, and it's totally customizable. You can, like I said, you can move this up or down. You can cant it forward or backward. You can adjust these spacers. These are three quarter inch spacers. I like a three quarter inch spacer because I have a big hand and I don't want to come down and, and hit the belt while I'm trying to grab the gun. So I use their maximum spacer, which is three quarter inch. They make them in quarter, half, and three quarter inch spacers here. So you could get the quarter inch if you want it closer. You could get the half inch a little further away, or I get the three quarter here because like I said, I have a big hand. So when I come down to grab the gun, I don't want to have to worry about hitting stuff on my way in. So I, I come up, I grab the gun, or if I'm coming down from the top grabbing the gun, I can fit my hand you know, right in there with the three quarter inch spacer. So uh, these are uh, again, different varieties of it. They can make you, so Red Hill Tactical, it's a, it's a two layer holster. Um, you can pick the color of the inner layer and the color of the outer layer. You can pick uh, not only that, but you can pick the texture. If you want carbon fiber, you can, uh, like I said, they've got at least, a, I, I swear it's over a hundred different colors and uh, American flag emblems and all kinds of different graphics, every color in the rainbow. Um, there's just so much selection uh, that you, there's no way you wouldn't find something you want. These are designed again to fit to, to the three hole boss hanger kit. So if this isn't what you're using or you're not, you know, whatever, you can get an inside waistband, outside waistband, whatever you want, uh, they, they'll make for you and you just select it from their drop down menus and, um, and then these holes will be different and the holes will attach to you know, whatever system you're using. So you don't have to use this system. These are just designed for the system I use. So uh, you can see how far down in the belt there you know, my gun is. So that's as far down as it'll go. So you know, that when the gun's in there, and that's uh, my, my Titan going in the Nemesis there. So I'm as far down as I can go. So when I come up again, I got plenty of room here, you know, so that I'm not hitting anything when I'm grabbing the gun to pull it out to draw. So um, there's almost an infinite number of color and pattern and texture selections that you can make. And you can, any light imaginable or anything under the gun you want to add on. They, they will do that. There is an upcharge for that because you've got more plastic and you've got more carbon fiber, or whatever you're using. Uh, so there is an uh, upcharge for that, but you'd expect that. I mean, that's just normal. You, you've got a bigger holster. And I always get the stainless steel knobs because I sweat a lot and I don't need them to be heavy. I don't need them to be brass. You can get them in brass, but I just get them all stainless steel. Um, but again, a very thick uh, two layer design. Uh, that does not bend, does not flex, is easily adjustable for tension uh, to hold the gun firmly so it's not slopping around in there. And, uh, and then the Boss Hanger Kit that I get from Ben Stoger, which has you know adjustability of cant, fits on an inch and a half belt, which is pretty much the standard belt. This is a double elf academy belt. Uh, and then the spacer kits, uh, you can choose. Uh, and then it's got the three hole mounting system up here that mounts to the to your holster. Um, and when you select, when you've got your holster, you just select, it'll say uh, boss style, uh, Ben Stoger boss style, uh, three hole design, you know, and that's what you select if you're gonna use this kind of hanger system. Um, I love this hanger system. My guns are pretty much, pretty much straight up when they're in the holster. Uh, I don't like them canted forward or backward. Uh, I like them pretty much straight up because when I'm kind of leaning forward, they lean forward a little bit anyway. So I go almost vertical, pretty much vertical with them. But uh, lots of adjustability from the hanger perspective. So think of that Ben Stoger. This is a Ben Stoger Boss Hanger Kit. This is with a three quarter inch. And then these come in different colors too. I just get the red. Obviously you can see I like red. So um, uh, again, a Red Hill Tactical. I have, 
it, it's just such a big difference between the other, the Blade Tech and the Comtech holsters that I was using. It's just such a huge difference that I had to make a video about it. I, I'm not going to buy any other holster ever again except Red Hill Tactical, and I'll wait the 30 days to get it. Um, I'll just order them in advance, but uh, they fit the guns absolutely perfectly. No scratching, no marring the surface. I don't know how they do it, uh, but absolutely fantastic product. So if you have any questions about Red Hill Tactical Holsters or the Boss Hanger Kits uh, from Ben Stoger's website, uh, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching Doc G's Reloading.